At the Bibi Marion High School, boys and girls are taught together all through primary school and are then separated before entering secondary school. Zana's gym teacher manages the sports project at the school and teaches English. Zana is ambitious. She is amongst the best pupils. No wonder she would like to be a teacher. As if you are a cup, yes, it is. It is new, a new, yes, it is. new, be a question mark say. Yes, it is, be a full stop. Excellent, very good. Another part of the Right to Play program is games that promote the health or the sensibility of the girls. This is a game called Feelings, where the girls have to identify objects whilst blindfolded. The mutual confidence comes from the blindfold. Hamida is, as a project leader, responsible for the game program and the timetable of the ten schools taking part in the project. Seven of them are girls' schools. Hamida is supported in every school by older pupils who go along as assistant coaches or as voluntary helpers. It's a difficult and responsible task for Hamida. I, I face many problems. Even my mother told me that just leave it. Just leave this job, it's not good. I told my, I convinced my mother that no, I will not, I will struggle for it. I can do it, I know I can do it. That's why I proceed and with other, with cooperation of the community, I make it possible. The example of the 17-year-old Zarpanra shows how much promotion work is still needed. Zarpanra joined the project as volunteer. Together with Hamida, we pay a visit to her father, who remains skeptical about the project. In the safety of his own home, the father is ready to tell us his doubts about the project. Our religion offers women a certain scope. It's written in the Quran that girls have to learn and go to school. But we are Pashtun, a very tribe oriented and very religion conscious people. We have trouble with the idea that girls shall go to the gym like boys. But if they do, it can only occur within the school walls so it remains hidden. I have nothing against sports. I run every morning to keep fit. If the girls want to do sport inside the walls in school, it's OK for me, but only there and nowhere else. It's so difficult to change the parents' minds. Mm -hmm. This is now we are new generation. We know what what's what's good. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, the sports we are doing this this is not uh, any problem. But whenever we see our parents, they are old people mm -hmm. from uh, the old generation. So it's difficult to change their minds and to do this. But it can be changed in future. In future, it it's possible that the new generation became parents. <laughs> then, yes. then their minds are changed uh, for the for the other generations. Mm -hmm. We can say that it, it will change. A lot of time. Yeah, but it takes a lot of time. So, in second, in copies, As what does Zapanra think about her father banning her from sports outside the school? For me, uh, permission. Yes, yes, I want to do this, but uh, without permission of my yeah, father, uh, I don't want to do anything then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The project Right to Play is courageous. In a conservative religious environment, they suffer the prejudices from the tribal traditions, and this aggravates the cooperation with the Afghan refugee girls. Progress must come slowly and surely, but it does come. The joy with which the girls partake in the project is contagious.
Hamida is confident. I wish that these children, these generation with whom I am working, become so brave, so that they should lead. And they become so brave that uh, they don't have so no fear. I want to remove all the fears from the faces and the hearts of these refugees, especially the girls. I want to see these so brave without any fear, without any restriction. So they should talk bravely without any fear. And they have dreams, but they, are, they don't express their dreams because they are worried. I want to remove this worry. <laughs> Sport lessons for girls. What is natural for you and I, here is a first step on the long way to self-determination.